guys, hey Anthony here at In Gear, and today we have with us the Mi Bike, and this bike is beautiful, it's awesome. Uh, one of the best looking bikes I think that's on the market right now. Um, and it comes with an app, so I'm gonna start my app and I'm going to jump in, which I can charge my phone right here at the display. And we're in Ventura, so let's go ahead and take it for a spin. Dang, somebody's getting towed, that's a total bummer. <laughs> Anyways, back on the street, we are on Main Street. If you've never been to Ventura, California, it's awesome. It's a beautiful place. I love it here. So, we're cruising. Oh, beautiful weather. It's a little overcast, which is great. But like I said, we have with us the Mi Bike. It also comes in a step through, which honestly, I'm excited to get. I like step through bikes of this size. Uh, beautiful black, I love the color. It is a throttle side bike. So on the right hand side, we have the throttle, which uh, is something that I love. So if I didn't want to pedal at all, this bike has the ability to go 40, 50 miles per uh, each one of these charges. And it's a 20 amp hour battery, which is a lot. Comes standard with that. A lot of times when you order e-bikes, it comes with a much smaller battery. So I like that this one has a 20 amp hour battery. Uh, it's really great, 48 volt. One of the things I like about this is the torque. So it has a torque sensor in here that operates in real time. So as I'm pedaling, I can feel the power distribution uh, happen in real time. There's no delay, which I, I think is a, a top feature uh, that Mi Bike has to offer. A little bit about the bike itself as it rides. It has front and rear suspension. The front suspension is adjustable. Uh, it makes for a really smooth ride. The seat. We've had some companies where we've ordered a bike and the seat is rock hard. Not so with the Mi Bike. The Mi Bike is automatically out of the box, a cushy ride, uh, which makes for an enjoyable trek. Um, it doesn't have a long seat, uh, and I think that maybe in the future, maybe they'll have an additional um, pad that you can put in on the back because one of my favorite things is to go tandem riding with my wife. We love tandem bikes of this style. It's just a lot of fun for us. Um, she doesn't necessarily enjoy um, lots of, make sure I don't get hit by a car, safety first. <laughs> um, she doesn't like riding bikes by herself. She likes going tandem. So uh, we enjoy bikes that can handle that. And this bike certainly can. It has a 275 pound weight limit. Uh, which would be pushing it for me and my wife probably because I'm a lot heftier than her. But we would just be making that 275, maybe even a little over, but I still think the bike has the capacity to uh, carry us both. Uh, the throttle power is awesome. It comes factory uh, limited at uh, 20 miles an hour throttle only. But uh, you can cycle through the menu and you can unlock it, which is pretty neat. <laughs> what a little cutie pie. Now that's the way to ride in style, have someone else push you. Or you can get pushed by the motor on this guy, which is a lot of fun. So I like to do throttle only just because, well, I got one leg. I don't really like to pedal all that much if I don't have to. And I just like the feel of a motorcycle. I think it's a ton of fun. So this is basically like an electric motorcycle. Uh, and if I'm using the throttle only, the battery power will get me 40 to 50 miles uh, using throttle only. Now, if I'm really pushing the bike and I want to uh, make a long distance trek, uh, this bike will get me uh, 60 to 80 miles if I'm using the pedal assist because the torque sensor on the bottom using pedal assist, it definitely adds to the battery uh, life. Uh, so it's a good option if you're gonna be commuting a lot, this is a great option. Uh, as you can see on the bottom, it comes with a set of keys that dumps the battery uh, out of the bottom. I like the fact that the battery loads from the bottom. I think it creates a sleeker look running down the down tube. Um, overall design of the bike, I think they did a stellar job. One thing I think that Mi Bike has done really well is limited the amount of decals. A lot of times companies, they'll use all sorts of bizarre colors. They'll have decals all over the place and you start to lose the sense of the style of the bike because it's just primarily a bunch of stickers in some different colors. So I, I like this matte black color. Um, I know the step through comes in a different color as well. So I like the options that they have. Now out of the box, it comes with a charger, two keys, obviously the bikes charges uh, in a decent amount of time, four to six hours gets you the entire battery charged up to full capacity, uh, which is a good charging time. Uh, we come to the front of the headlight. I like what they did with the design of the headlight. Uh, I think it looks cool when it's illuminated. 
uh, when you're in front of the bike. I like the way that it illuminates the street in front of me when it's night. Uh, it automatically turns on when it senses that it's dark, which I also like if you're riding, you go through a tunnel like we do when we're in Mammoth, it boom, just pops right on, which is great. Uh, it's weatherproof, which is another good feature so that your stuff doesn't short out if you accidentally um, you know, go through some rain, which this bike could totally do. It's got puncture proof, or puncture resistant rather, uh, tires. Four inch fat tires, which I like. It's got the knobbies on there. And uh, so that gives me confidence when I'm going off into the grass or places like that. So it has a TFT illuminated LED screen, uh, which is super bright. It has a charging port USB-C underneath the display. Uh, this bike comes with a two year warranty. Overall for $23.99, this bike is killer. Plus they got some coupons. Uh, running, they run some sales. So if you're looking to get a bike that in my opinion would compare to something like uh, like a Juiced or Aerial Rider bike, um, I think that this is an incredible option. Um, and I, I, I like the branding. I think that they have done a good job. So the ride is good, the price is good, the product that you get is good, and the customer service rocks. So who's this bike for? I think this bike is for someone who wants a motorcycle feel. Uh, while still using some pedals. Uh, this bike is, in my opinion, extremely well built. It's not plasticky feeling. The thing is absolutely solid. It's well built. They, they did a really good job um, at making this bike. Nothing on this bike feels cheap. And I'm gonna be honest, not all of the bikes that we test out have a solid, well built feel. This bike specifically, it's all metal. I mean, this thing is a tank. It feels good. It weighs 72 pounds, which isn't terribly heavy, but it's also not really light. So you can tell that there's a solid build going on. I love the features. I love the display. It's a TFT display, really crystal clear, multicolors, uh, which is a lot of fun. And at nighttime, man, this thing just shines. And I have polarized sunglasses and a lot of the displays that come on e-bikes, if I turn my head to the right or the left, sometimes I lose visibility um, on the screen because of the way it's designed. But this one, is awesome. All right, if you're interested in getting one of these bikes, you can click the link in the description box below. Uh, and I'd encourage you to check it out because I think Me Bike is an incredible deal. It's an incredible bike and it's a comfy ride. And honestly, I think it's one of the nicer looking bikes on the market right now. So good job, Me Bike. Excited that we get to review your bike and play with it. And we'll see you in the next video. So if you're looking at getting one of these bikes, you can click the description, uh, the link in the below, bleh, in the below. <laughs> if you're getting, oh man. <laughs>